Today it's a full face. Get ready with me with some makeup products I am so excited to try. I hope you'll join me. That's coming up next. Welcome in. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. With all the new palette releases out today, the one that I was most excited about is the Taupe Palette from ColourPop. I saw this and I was so excited by this colorway and I don't think it was because this is such a fabulous price point compared to the higher end palettes that are out right now. I really truly love this colorway. We're going to be diving into this palette today, trying one of the coordinating Super Shock shadows, giving the neutral lip liner a try, and jumping into a lot more great makeup. As always, all products that are used and mentioned today will be listed and linked below, and they'll also be over on the blog, so super easy for you to find. And with that, let's hop into the makeup. I have my face all prepped with my serums and moisturizers, and of course my sunscreen and I dimmer rolled my face a few nights ago and I was pretty complete in the process so I'm peeling a little bit. My skin is not going to be a perfect canvas today, it's just not, so we'll just work with that. I'm going to change things up today and start in with complexion first. Today I'm going to be using the Stila One Step Correct. I'm still testing this out. I like it. I'm not sure I love it, but we'll give it a whirl today and see how it looks on the complexion. The whole concept behind this primer is that it's supposed to color correct before you put on your foundation because it has all these colors swirled in it. I'd have to be honest, I don't know that I've seen that. Maybe I'm just not looking in the right way. It does feel really nice on the skin and very, very hydrating. For eyeshadow primer, I'm going to be using the Lorac. I've been using this for, gosh, several months now and this is just a little travel size that I got in an order from Ulta, I'm pretty sure, as just a free gift. And wow, has it lasted a long time. I'm going to do a little color correcting underneath my eyes with the Stila Correct and Perfect palette. This is fairly new to me, but my gosh, I'm really, really enjoying it. It's just so handy. I'm going to be using this little peach color underneath my eyes, and I just get a little bit on my pinky finger. It doesn't take very much, and just kind of tap that in that purple area underneath my eye. And you can see what a good job it does of correcting that purpleness underneath my eyes just really, really quickly. While that corrector is drying down, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. And I like to put just a little bit of powder in them to begin with because there's so much skincare on my skin that it ends up in my eyebrows and it makes it tough to put the eyebrow pencil on. So I'm just going to brush that powder through. I'm using my usual today, the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. I love this pencil. Of course I say that every single time and I start out by just really defining the bottom of my brow and then once I have that in I'll just go ahead and fill in the rest of the brow. For foundation I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. I'm in the color Golden Ivory. This has really moved up to be my favorite go-to easy everyday foundation and you guys know that I loved the L'Oreal Pro Glow for a long time. That was my number one foundation. This has kind of won its way into my heart above the Pro Glow. And I was thinking about that the other night. Why? I think it's because this feels lighter on my skin. The Pro Glow in comparison feels heavier. And I just find that curious because I absolutely loved the Pro Glow for months and months and months. I'm just gonna take a little bit and start dotting that around my face. I was also really surprised that this color match really worked for me, the golden ivory, because I wouldn't think that golden would be a color that would work well on my complexion, but it, it absolutely does. I'm gonna go in with the BK Beauty 106 foundation brush. This brush <laughs> reminds me of my pillow, it's so soft. I really love it. Then I just go in with a damp blending sponge and just blend that out. I have to say that the other night I was looking in the mirror at my face. I think after I washed my face, I was doing my skincare. And it was the first time that I could really say that I think my skincare is making an impact on my wrinkles. I know that might sound strange, but what I mean is I know the skincare that I've been doing, it's been almost a year and a half, not quite a year and a half. I know the skincare that I've been doing has done a good job of improving the texture of my skin and the brightness of my skin and 
maybe a little bit in the firmness and the healthiness of my skin, but I really couldn't say up until just a couple of nights ago that I had seen a reduction in my wrinkles. I always felt like I had the same wrinkles that I started with. They just looked a little bit better. But a couple of nights ago, I was looking at my face and I really thought, you know, I think it's kind of working. And if I was to say what it is, I would say two things for the wrinkles, not the texture, not the brightness, that sort of thing. The first would be the tretinoin that I get from my Curology. And the second, believe it or not, would be the Nera. And that's that little at-home laser device I use. It has really made a difference in these marionette lines. And I know my marionette lines still are there and they're really quite prominent, but they're so much better than they were. And I think it's done a little bit around my crow's feet too. So anyway, it took about, for me, it took about a year and a half before I could say that my wrinkles seem to be improving a little bit. I'll do a before and after video and we'll look at my wrinkles and we'll see if I'm making it up or if it's really true sometime soon. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Zellens Concealer. I'm working my way through this one too. I'll have to say this delivery system, this little tip brush thing, and you kind of you click it here you can listen right here you click it to get the product to go up into it not a fan it's one of those kind of things where i'm just not really sure how much is getting on the tip of the brush and then i get too much and then i waste it so i'll have to say i think it kind of takes away from my appreciation of the concealer because i'm kind of struggling with the application process so i've started just clicking it off and putting it on the back of my hand. See right there, I just got a big glop on it and then going from there. So I can't say this delivery system is the best and I'm not sure about how I feel about this concealer itself because I can't seem to separate the delivery system from the concealer. Anyway, there we have it. I do like the color. It's nice and brightening and it seems to have good coverage. To set that concealer, I'm going to go in with my number 7 Lift and Luminate Powder, and I'm using a Sigma brush. This is from their Rose Gold Holiday Collection. I don't know what the number is, but it's really, really soft, and I'm liking it for underneath my eyes. I'm going to set my T-Zone with the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder, Drugstore Price, great powder. <laughs> I'm going to be using the e.l.f. bronzer today. I don't know what color this is. I can't read it, but I'll have it down in the description box below. So just a little bit of contouring around the face. This is the e.l.f. tapered powder brush. I think that's what they call it. It's so good for bronzer for me because I can place the bronzer, then I can go back in and really blend it out. For blush, I'm going to use the Daniel Sandler Watercolor Blush. <laughs> the last time I used this in a Get Ready With Me, I used way too much. So let's see if I can do a little better job of applying it today. This is a really, really liquidy formula. I'll show you. It's just to put a dot on the back of my hand and then just take a little bit and start tapping that in. This is the color Lux. I just think it's so pretty. And the glow it puts on the skin is so natural and just beautiful. There, how do you like that? This is kind of one of my favorite fun new makeup products. It's just so pretty and so unique in how it goes on and just the application and just the wear and everything about it. For highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is a cult classic and I really love it too. It's just such a beautiful glow on the skin. And I always like to put a little bit on the front of my cheeks. I think it makes my cheeks just look like they have a little bit more volume. And then I go in with a big fluffy brush and just blend all that in. I washed my brushes with this new soap and I can't decide if I like it, the scent or not. <laughs> I guess I don't think I do because I keep noticing it and probably not in the best way. I think the complexion is looking a little bit better. I'm so excited about this new eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. I'll tell you what, there have been so many high-end releases lately that I thought about, but the first one I got really excited about for some reason was this taupe palette from ColourPop. And I don't think it's because the price point is so affordable. I think I just really, really love the colorway. I just thought this was so beautiful. Beautiful taupey colors. There's a few shimmers in here. And I went ahead and got a few other products as well, I got the two Super Shock shadows that come in this collection, the taupe collection, 
and I haven't used the Super Shock shadows before, at least in individual pots. Here they are here. This one, the lighter one, is called Koosh, and the darker one is called Ritz. The lighter one to me is just a really beautiful icy champagne. The darker one, Ritz, is more of a warm brown, but it's more of a topper. In other words, there's not as much pigment and a little bit more glitter. I think I'm really going to enjoy this icy one over here, the one called Koosh. Also ordered a little individual shadow. This is in a light cream color for when I have a palette that doesn't have a complete palette. In other words, there's not a cream shade to put all over the lid or underneath the brow. I got this just to keep on my makeup table to use for those palettes that aren't a quite complete palette for my use. I also got one of the lip liners in the taupe collection. This is Cool BFF. So this will be fun to put together for a neutral lip today. And you can see that color right here. I thought that was really, really pretty. So this palette doesn't have a real light shade. I'm gonna go ahead and use this little individual color. It's a little bit of a shimmer shade, so I'm not sure how that's gonna work. We'll go ahead and try it and see. I like to start with just a light wash of color all over the whole lid. And this does have a little bit more shimmer in it than I had anticipated, but I'll buff it out, and I think that will get rid of most of that. Just going in with a big fluffy blending brush. Hmm, I'm not sure where I wanna start with this. This is such a fun palette to me. I'm gonna start out with my crease brush in the slightest shade up here in the corner. It's called Boa. So I guess they're keeping with the snake theme through this whole thing. And I'm just gonna work that into the crease area. Oh, that's a pretty color. I just love this taupe palette. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that down onto the outside third of my movable lid. Now in with my blending brush to just blend that out. Now I'm gonna take that same crease brush and dip it into this little darker color here. Just get a little bit on my brush. This is the color Python. And I'm gonna take that right deeper into the crease, just real lightly, and then down into that outside corner of my eye and a little bit along the lash line. Then back in with my blending brush and just blend that out. Then I'm going to take a flat brush and dip it into this darker color right down here. It's called Rock Steady. I'm going to get just a little bit on both sides of that brush, and that's just going to go right in the outside corner of my eye to really just deepen up that area, and then a little bit along the lash line. And I'm really just keeping it in that outside lower area right on that movable lid and up into the crease just a little bit. Now I'm going to take that same flat brush and dip it back into Python. Just get a little bit right on the tip of that brush and that's gonna run underneath just the outside third of my lower lid really softly and kind of up to tie in with that color in the upper lid area. Now I'm gonna take that Super Shock Shadow in the color Koosh and mine came a little bit crumbly but I was able to just press it back in there. I'm gonna get a little bit on my finger and I'm just gonna tap that right on the center of my movable lid. I don't wanna bring it too far down into the corner because things get a little wrinkly there for me and I don't wanna really draw a lot of attention to that area. I'm really liking the tone of that palette. I'm so excited to be using it. It's really everything that I thought it would be. Now I'm going to take my Wayne Goss Coal Liner Pencil. I am loving these pencils. They're a little bit higher in price point but I just really am appreciating it for a couple of reasons. First of all, the formula is so creamy. It doesn't tug on my lid at all, and it lays down really well. And once it sets, it really sets. So I'm really appreciating. He did a good job on these pencils. I use this not only to line my upper lid, but also to tight line. So once I have that pencil pulled right along my lash line, I go in with a little angled brush and I just smudge it out because that area of my eyelid just is not smooth. This way I'm able to use a liner and have it kind of be smudgy so I don't have to worry about it being completely even. Then I just take that same pencil and run it underneath my lashes to tight line. I'm gonna hop off now and do my mascara and I'll be right back. For mascara, I used the Stila Huge Mascara and I think that's aptly named. My eyelashes do look huge, what do you think? 
For lips, I really want to highlight this lip liner that came as part of the taupe collection, and this is Cool BFF. So I'm going to use the Cool BFF, and then I'm just going to top it with a little bit of the Wet n Wild Sin Nudes lip gloss. I have no idea how this is going to look, but we'll give it a whirl. This lip liner is really creamy. So there's the lip liner all on its own. Is that too nude for me? I'm not sure. I'm just going to top it with a little bit of the Wet n Wild in Sin Nudes. Color. There we have the lip color. What do you think? Here we have the finished look. You guys, I am so excited about this new taupe palette from ColourPop. I haven't been this excited about a palette in a long, long time. I think the color is beautiful. The it's everything that we've learned to love about ColourPop. Super affordable, great formula. Love this new palette. Still very excited about the Daniel Sandler blushes. They are so glorious, and I think I've learned to put it on a little bit more gently this time. I think it's a beautiful flush on the skin. Just a very, very natural look, particularly for more mature skin. This Stila Correct and Perfect palette, I'll have to say, this is one of, I think, the smartest purchases I've made in a while. I'm really appreciating the formula. I love the fact that everything that I need to correct is in this one palette, and it just works so very well. So I'm really appreciating the fact that I have this in my makeup collection. The Stila Huge Mascara, boy, they named this aptly. I think my eyelashes do look huge. So if you're looking for something that's lengthening, volumizing, and making your lashes look hugely bigger, <laughs> this is a good choice. This cool BFF lip liner from ColourPop. I don't know, you guys, what do you think about this color? I think it's pretty. I don't know if it's for me. Maybe it is. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. I want to thank you for joining me for this fun get ready with me. I so enjoyed putting this look together. I hope you found it fun as well. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. You guys know it just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day. Wear your sunscreen and all. See you in the next video. Bye now.